the next contestant is little Casper, who will sing a haunting refrain. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. I couldn't be bad or mean.
Nobody makes friends around here. Now get out and scare people. Gosh, I don't want to scare anybody. I want to be friendly. Good morning, Mr. Bull. out for that wicked old wolf.
ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. The wolf, he might look at him with fright, but we think he's all of himself. Minus the deductions, it's uh, six, five, eight, and one. That's uh, one thousand eight hundred and fifty-six dollars. Oh, how am I ever going to raise that kind of money? Hello, creepers, old chum, old buddy, old pal. How about lending me a sawbuck? I got a heavy date tonight. Cheapers, what a time to ask me for money. I can't even pay my income tax. Why, it's simple. Just ask your boss to advance you some dough. I still owe him the money I borrowed for last year's taxes. Gee, I almost forgot. I might have enough here to pay for the first installment. Jeepers, how could you? You wouldn't want a friend to go without eating, would you, pal? Maybe I can sell my overcoat. My overcoat? It's gone! Sorry, chum, but I had to hawk your coat to get you your birthday present. I guess I'll just have to throw myself on the mercy of the tax collector. It's my fault you're in this mess. But I'll think of something to get you out of it, buddy. Creepers! I'm gonna get that dough for you after all! Now keep that left up. Give me the old one-two punch. And don't forget the old footwork in there, buddy boy. In this corner, the undefeated against the law to hit a guy with glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gosh, I'll be late for work. Come on, creepers. You only got a couple of seconds to go. collect your delinquent income tax. I am happy to say, sir, that I have more than enough to take care of it. Then there's the penalty for not paying your tax on time.
then there's the interest on the money you owe. There. I just made it. Not quite. You still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Look, creepers, what did I tell you? But, but, but I never rode a horse in my life. With me in there to help you, buddy old boy, you're having a thing to worry about. That's just what I'm worried about. <laughs> still owe the tax on the money you just won. Don't give up hope, pal. I'll think of something. Gentlemen, I would like to discuss the drastic decline in the profits of the Jonathan Grizzly Enterprises. There is a decided drop below our record level. In the first month, profits declined 1%. In the second month, it was 2%. Then three. Then four Z's, five Z's, six Z's, seven Z's, eight Z's, nine Z's. <coughs> now, gentlemen, let's see if we can't come up with a solution. Well, the way the dividend well, profits uh, yes, are going to be. I uh, quite agree with you. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, it's a recession. Oh, er, J.G. Sir, uh, we think we have solved the problem. Very good. Excellent. Meeting's adjourned. <laughs> I take your hat and cane, sir? Oh, yes, uh, my cane. Uh, thank you. Hello, J.G. Hello, dear. Son, how were things at the... I'm sorry, Dad, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> What's with him? Uh, uh, J.G.? What do you want? Uh... Can't you see that I'm busy? My dear, you've been working too hard. Perhaps Dr. Dumkoff, the psychiatrist, could help. Why, a man would have to be crazy to go to one of those. Huh? I would like to put you through several tests and see if you have any suppressed desires, frustrated inhibitions, or schizophrenia of the brain. Why, you numbskull, I'll take any test you want and prove that I'm absolutely normal. We shall see. Now, I want you to make me an ink lot and tell me what you think it represents. Now, tell me. What do you see? Va 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 voom! Well, I guess we're both normal on that. Yeah. <laughs> and now for the next analysis. Do you dream that you could fly like a birdie in the sky? Your question, sir, is idiotic. With dreams like that, I'd be psychotic. Is your personality split, good or bad? Which is it? Why, you quack, you hurt my pride. You think I'm a Jekyll and Hyde. When you was a little lad, was your childhood gay or sad? Since the day that I was born, I've been miserable, wretched, and forlorn. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. You have some kind of infantile neurosis. And in order to find out what it is, you must relive your childhood. Relive my childhood? And you are now 
a little child again. Here is the old neighborhood where you was brought up in as a little kid. Golly gee, what a dan dan dandy toy. Hmm, very interesting. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up, horsey! Give me my toy! Ho, 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 ho! And were you a good little boy this year? I was a good little boy this year, Santa. Look, mister, how cheap can you get? These toys are only for kids. I'm a kid and I want a toy. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. I'm beginning to dig that crazy mixed up kid. Son, that's a mighty fine toy you have there. Uh, let me show you how it works. Give me that. It's my toy. You can't have it or you'll break it. I want my toy. I want my toy. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. You are once again JG. Where am I? Well, you had a severe case of toy phobia caused by your old man never allowing you to play with your own toys. I see it all now. Why, George, doctor, I'm cured. By golly, they sure make interesting scientific toys these days. Let me see if I could make it work. No, no, you, you're liable to break it. You think I'm so stupid I couldn't lay me the toy? That's right, and now you just keep your hands on the toy. I'm not stupid. Give me that toy. How silly can you get? <laughs> Two grown-up men playing with toys. I'm glad I'm cured. One Z's, two Z's, three Z's, four Z's. <laughs>